Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 2.3, Fraction Simplification. This is a great C video. I hope you enjoy it, and let's start. So, what is simplification? A simplification is to make something simpler or easier to read, which can re remove a lot of uh, confusions for presentation purposes. And um, a lot of the fraction can be changed into uh, improper fractions, which can be used in a lot of work and can be used in a lot of calculations and those are essential skills for you to do mathematics and it's in the normal GCSE course and it's also in this further math course basically any math uh, will require some sort of skills about simplification so when you encounter a problem where you want to simplify a fraction like this, the first thing you ever do is to try and factorize. Because there are ways uh, to simplify things. If you have a set of things that cannot be um, eliminated, then you are pretty much stuck right here. But this is not the most simplified version. You can factorize it to get um, different things which will cancel out eventually. And take example um, 5x plus 5, we can factorize that according to our previous parts of this tutorial, um, well, teach through series. Um, you can factorize out the 5 and left with x plus 1. Similarly, at the bottom part, the den uh, denominator part, you can factorize it into x plus 1 squared, which will turn this um, complicated fraction into some sort of a easier fraction. And we normally illustrate uh, this square as uh, the square sign, but if you're not uh, sure about how to manipulate squares, then you can write it in this form. They are uh, exactly the same, it's just how you present your information. So now get your brush out and let's cross out some useless parts. So for now, uh, we are dealing with this one because it's more simplified um, or more clear for you to see. So we can find one set of s uh, identical uh, brackets, which is x plus 1 over x plus 1. And we know that x anything over itself in a fraction is always 1. So we can cross those two out and turn them into 1. Okay, so that is a terrible one, but uh, let it be. Um, so now we're left with 5 over x plus 1 times 1. On the other hand, when you're dealing with these sort of um, representation, you can just cross this and the powers 2 out. If it's power 3, you subtract 3 by 1 basically and so you are also left with 5 over x plus 1 and that is the most simplified um, method uh, the most simplified fraction that you can get from 5x plus 5 x squared plus 2x plus 1 so um, yeah this method is uh, really good because it can help you cancel out uh, obvious parts that are the same and just remove them from the picture so you can pretty much already see that this is way easier than this one because 
there aren't that many square terms uh, there aren't many x terms and there aren't a lot of additional subtraction signs so yes also um, one really important thing that I want to say is um, be sure that you want to use uh, you know about what is difference of two squares because sometimes it requires you to use this rule to factorize a specific fraction so now I've decided to um, create a question that uses difference of two squares oh well k kind of but yeah you know the picture um, so Again, a uh, simplification means to combine two fractions into one simpler fraction. And therefore, we need to change this one to something more um, workable. Here, we can see a subtraction sign, but they have a different denominator. Therefore, they cannot subtract each other. What we need to do before we do anything is to make them uh, a common denominator by uh, multiplying this side by x minus y multiplying this side by x plus y we can get uh, x plus y times x minus y and because if you have done uh, a multiplication to the bottom side of the fraction you must do the same for the top side and therefore you ended up with 5 uh, bracket x minus y because um, essentially we have multiplied the whole fraction by x minus y t over x minus y which is 1 same goes for the other side minus 6 times x plus y will result in this um, bracket and that is the common denominator and we can combine those two fractions together and now all we need to do is to expand the top but not the bottom because we don't need to we know that this is a difference of two square and there aren't much that we can do with it so we'll just keep it like that and after you expanded the bracket you should have something that looks like this 5x minus 5y minus 6x minus 6y over x plus y x minus y so that is um, what you get and now we have to collect like terms what do I mean by collecting not like terms is where the variable given x and y as a variable you have to collect them all into one group so in this case we'll have um, 5x minus 6 x as one group then minus 5y minus 6y as another group so we have uh, collected the like terms and now we have to calculate them and if you have practiced you will know that this is essentially 5 minus 6 times x which is negative 1x or minus x then the other side is minus 5 minus 6 which is negative 11 y so you can get the fraction out like this and that is the most simplified version that you can get for a fraction uh, regarding um, combining two different fractions it's the same for addition as well so it's just first step common denominator second step do the same thing for the top numerator then third thing collect like terms and lastly you just calculate the result and so that's it for the examples so there are something that you have to be aware of when you're doing these kind of crossing out remember to factorize it fully uh, into brackets and if possible uh, if within that bracket you can factorize it again 
do that because it really helps you to see a clearer picture and they can be sneaky about how you factorize things so basically sometimes they'll give you a, a long string of power then you have to factorize it into two brackets and within those two brackets you can factorize it further and if you didn't f factorize th those numbers further then you will be stuck with the question because you haven't factorized fully and yeah to cross out you must have it factorized and they must be all multiplications not additions so it doesn't mess up the number system and that's it. Uh, let's uh, go for some questions. So I have uh, made four uh, questions for you to answer. And these are pretty similar and simple. Factorization and elimination kind of questions. So I think you'll be alright. So in the count of five, I will show the answer. So five, four, three, two, one. All right, that is the answers corresponding to the questions. And I hope you get them all right. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, uh, leave me a like, it helps me out a lot, and yeah, I'll see you next time.